Merry Christmas, everyone. It is uh, it is still technically Christmas uh, at the date of this filming. It's the, uh, what is it, like the 10th or a, the 9th or 10th day of Christmas? I'm not sure. But it's uh, it's still the kind of the Christmas season, even though New Year's has come and gone. I, I think of the Christmas season as continuing on until maybe kind of early January. But I wanted to talk about A Christmas Carol, and I wanted, in part because I wanted to show off my sweet VHS Good Times copy of of the movie Scrooge, the 1951 classic, that uh, it's actually Scrooge, even though it says A Christmas Carol here, the movie was originally called Scrooge. And as Gene Shalit says, it's the single enduring version. And I would wholeheartedly 100% agree with that, 110% agree with that. Um, and yes, that is a, uh, a Goodwill sticker on there. Look at that, 38 cents. What a bargain. I tend to keep uh, Goodwill stickers on my on my possessions uh, just to annoy people. But uh, And you can see the kind of semi-amateurish uh, illustration on the front, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, I actually, that actually, for me, kind of adds to the charm. I actually like that. Um, so I have this, and I believe it's the colorized version, but I'm not sure. I've never actually watched the VHS tape. I, I can always find it on YouTube. But they used to play this this version every Christmas Eve in my area. And then one year, randomly, when I was like in my late teens, I think, uh, they stopped playing it and they started playing this uh, this earlier version from the 30s that just was not nearly as good. And uh, it got me thinking about... Uh, that this one, that this one, and how it was the best one, and uh, I, I have reasons why I, of, of like maybe what, maybe the twenty or so different versions of this movie that have been made, why I think this one is the best, and I'll tell you the main reason is casting. Uh, the casting in this movie is brilliant. Uh, the only two, the only uh, casting decision I'm not a big fan of was the kid who to play uh, Tiny Tim. Because he was just a little too old for the role, and I think a little too healthy looking. They could have maybe used makeup to make him look sicker or something, and that might have worked. But uh, he just looked a little bit too much like a kid in a back to school ad, just a little too healthy, and you know, not not some kid living in the early Victorian era who's dying of rickets or whatever. But uh, the the casting in general is amazing. Uh, Alistair Stim. Alistair Sim as Scrooge is astounding. He's he is perfect. Uh, he has the perfect mixture of dramatic uh, acting ability and comedic acting ability. Reminds me a little bit of John Lithgow, and I always thought that John Lithgow would make a great Scrooge. And I I hope that he decides to at some point in his life. Although he's kind of running out of time. He's getting older, and it, it's actually almost getting to the point where it's too late for him to play the role already because he's just getting too old. But um, Alistair Sim, uh, he, it, what what makes his performance brilliant is that he, he his in his performance he's he makes Scrooge likable at all stages in the, in the story, and that's important for a good redemption story. You have to be able to see the good person hidden beneath the, the 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 mean, gruff, beaten exterior of the the person before they get redeemed, and that's why Alistair Sim is so great. Is that uh, even early in the story. He's he has a certain likability to him, it, it, just in his sense of humor and his crassness. Just everything about it is something in his in his demeanor makes you think to yourself, "This isn't a bad person. This is a good person who's been led down a bad path." It's it's and that's very important. You can't have just a heartless Scrooge at the beginning, completely heartless, and then have him be redeemed and have it be believable. You have to have a Scrooge, even in the even in the beginning who is likable, and Alistair Sim uh, exudes that likability very well. And the casting has been, like I said, the, the, the young actor who plays the young Scrooge, the young adult Scrooge, the young actor who plays Marley, they both look just like younger, they look and sound just like young versions of their uh, counterparts, and they everything is great. Uh, and the special effects are respectable. They still hold up fine because they're used fairly minimally, fairly... Uh, fairly uh, judiciously so that nothing looks unconvincing everything still looks great it's all very close to the movie in terms of the 
storyline. They take very few liberties. The liberties they do take make perfect sense. So this is the best one. This is the best Christmas Carol movie. Uh, and uh, I invite you to try to change my mind, but I love it. Uh, there, this is really the only one that, frankly, I care to watch. So thanks for watching. To let me know what you think and uh, subscribe to Captain Unusual if you like. And I'll see you in the next video.